boyfriend, when I first got with him, he was overdosing once a week. Um, before I got with him, he would get a new batch every week and he'd go by himself to the river and do the first shot. And that's how he met so many people, is somebody would walk by and say, oh my God, and knock on him. Um, I remember I couldn't find him one night. Nobody, nobody knew where he was. And um, I was sitting at the bus stop waiting for the mall ride and I mentioned his name again and this one girl goes, oh my God, um, he got on the ambulance earlier or something like that. The ambulance came and got him. I'm like, what? No one else saw this but you? And they're like, yeah, he got, the ambulance came and got him and nobody was paying attention. And so I called the hospital and sure enough, he overdosed. And that's a, like the first time I've ever seen him, like, you know, anyone <laughs> after an OD. And it was pretty scary. Now it's not rare that he does it anymore. He's not trying anymore. And more like uh, he does like a gram shot and it doesn't even do anything to him. Like he's, he pushes his limits. He's always been like that where he tries to do so much, you know, but he always just, he's alive. <laughs> you know, he thinks he can, you know, he's like Superman or something. Uh, well, I am glad there's Narcan for the fact that, you know, I just started three years ago and I'm scared to death of needles. And I promised I'd never do heroin in my life. And then I met my boyfriend, you know, and that kind of changed things. I don't know why, but it did. And um, if it wasn't for Narcan, I would not be doing it. Like, I wouldn't be freely doing his side shots, you know, and like, you know, doing what I do, you know, with him because, of, you know, the whole overdosing. But for the fact that there is something to bring you back, you know, I'm not so scared. You know, it gives me more confidence, and, you know, not confidence to like, you know, do it forever for the rest of my life. But for the time being, that I'm not going to, you know, die because I have three kids, you know, out there and... You know, I have family that is out there that loves me, you know, when I do get back to reality, but, you know, for right now, Narcan's the only thing, you know, keeping me alive. <laughs>